Hey guys, I'm really glad you guys could come out today. Um, I know you guys have never um, baked before, so I wanted to show you guys how to do it. So, um, first of all, you want to preheat your oven to whatever the box says. We're going to make muffins today because it's pretty easy. Um, it's a simple step process. So, preheat you have whatever the um, box says. It says 400 on there. And then make sure that you have all your ingredients laid out and ready to go. Um, here's the muffin mix. Since we're going to make the whole thing, I'm just going to put that in there. I have a question. What's up? How long do you preheat? Um, preheat until it dings and says that it's ready. Oh, it tells you? So, yeah. It, normally, like, ovens start at, like, 350. And since we're preheating at 400, um, we're going to have to wait a little bit until it's caught up. Yeah. So, um, we put the mix in. It's also calling for one egg. So, we're going to crack the egg and put it in here so that we can make sure there aren't eggshells in there. Because no one wants a crunchy muffin. <laughs> so... That looks good. Doesn't look like there's anything in there. So just dump it in there. And then also calls for a fourth cup milk. So I have some milk here. And in order to get the right measurement, which is important because you don't want soupy muffins. Or eggs. Or eggs. <laughs> you just get down here and make sure at the level of the mixing cup that it's at the fourth cup line. Now, does it matter what type of milk we need? No. It, that's okay. totally personal preference. Right. And then just dump that in there. That's as simple as that. And then do you want to go ahead and mix it? Sure. Make sure you get it so it's not all lumpy. Um, you want to make sure that you start with a clean workspace so that there's less cleanup in the end. Make sure that there aren't like things around that can contaminate the food and that your hands are clean and everything's together. Looks good. Courtney, do you want to go ahead and put those in there? Yeah. It calls for you to grease it, but these are so much easier cleanup-wise. These won't stick? No, they won't stick. And the grease also sometimes can like make the muffins taste weird. weird. Yeah. Okay, well, let's go. Yeah. Good. All mixed up. Mm. Okay, and my mom gave me one of these a long time ago. It's an ice cream scooper, but it works well, perfect for me. <laughs> So, and it gives like, you can scrape it out so that you get like, you don't know, the dough. You fill it all up? Um, you fill it too, like there. I'm going to leave this okay. to Mix it a lot. Um, since this is for a big muffin mixer, it says it makes five, but with little ones, if you're obviously going to have more than five. Okay. Who wants to Ballard? distribute the batter? Now, do you bake them? the same amount of time on the box or yes. since they're smaller it takes mm -hmm. less time you can bake it the same amount of time it says until golden brown on those things like with cookies and everything um I'm sorry, but, but um you can keep an eye on it as you go mm -hmm. nine times out of ten they'll come out perfect if you do it it's okay if you drip we can just wipe it off um yeah perfect you want to fill it to about like the halfway mark so then they don't overfill Job gives it room to, to bake <laughs> properly so that everything is together. Um, 